show you how to edit your animation which you have made in Blender to DaVinci Resolve. So I want to show you something in Blender. Uh, when you have made this project, which is the Wrecking Ball project, uh, the FPS. We have changed the FPS to 256 frames per second. So it's very perfect, okay? This is what you have made, but it isn't critical to edit this to edit this project okay if you want to you can edit more projects so open resolve davinci resolve and you have to see a splash screen in front of you which is a photo a uh, black magic design black magic pocket cinema camera for this stuff so you have to see it so you can edit now it's not critical but whatever so DaVinci Resolve opened and what I'm going to do is click here new project and name it anything you want but I'm going to name it tutorial one minute create and wait so this is what I what you're going to see. Go here to media pool and open your file. And this is our file. This clip. So drag them here, no clips in media pool, and go for media storage to get started. Okay. This was our animation. But delete this, remove, because you have missed a big step. What is it? Listen to me. Go here to uh, cogwheel settings and set the frame rate to 60. Timeline, timeline frame rate 60, playback frame rate 60 to make it work perfectly. Change and add a clip once more now it will work perfectly yeah okay what i'm going to do uh what why 60 save change and now it should work remove to check once more okay and don't change yeah now it's good it's listening to me actually <laughs> so go here to edit and grab your animation right over here you can actually see your animation through here if you keep your mouse pointer on the animation so this is our timeline Okay, now we have to, uh, um, let's log this first, and control, sa uh, control S to save, so you don't lose your work. Now we're going to add sound, so go here, fail light, but before you watch this video, make sure to download DaVinci Resolve library, so it's easier to... Um, uh, import or choose your what do you call it music or voice okay so I'm going to type here what let me see this now this is what I'm going to choose drag and drop right over here and let's do another one no. Just keep listening. Listen, so I'm going to pause this part and keep this up to you. So I chose my sound. And these two 
are really good actually and we're going to help us a lot so let's see play what I'm going to do is cut this part and go here first you have to mark it so we know back mark seam huh what's mark seam mark sorry so cut delete we don't need it and delete the mark i'm going to align the sound so it's align this sound glass down on wood is actually the sound of the bricks falling down so we have to listen this couple of times good now I'm going to add a chain swinging sound to our project okay I'm going to post this but you can found you can see you can look for it right over here but I didn't like it actually so I'm going to take it from YouTube wait for a moment so what I did here is actually I have recorded I actually have recorded my uh, OB in OBS uh, the sound so I have dragged it over here like you have did in this uh, BF misc uh, hardwood so um, I drag it over here and and I'm going to show in this clip which is which will not going to use this one but I'm going to show how I do specific part so mark in mark out so th this part we're going to add how we're going to add it from here insert clip so it's insert you have to choose where you have to position it in the middle or here yeah, it's up to you but i'm going to undo it because i don't need it you are going to do this step in the chain so we're done with the sound and what i'm going to do is drag this part so it fades at the sound one now let's see p2 zoom in by the way it's actually good i like it good very good don't forget to save and Boom.